I didn't know the human asshole could lubricate itself. He just kicks me in the head until I pass out. I, apparently my ass smell killed your daughter, and I don't feel like I should be responsible. I felt hot blood pour all over my numb ass, and I felt like I was in heaven. Can you imagine my penis goes into my balls and my vagina goes into my balls? And I'm like, sorry, this happens to everybody, and then I leave. Like, oh, you're like, me. <laughs> we can't promote this song. Let's immediately Let's promote immediate. this song. <laughs> Let's immediately open up with the MD. <laughs> We can't. I'll just okay. bleep it all out. Okay, wait, we gotta go back to the riot! Right. I don't know if we should... They, they're canceled. The, uh, Cherry popping daddy. Oh, uh, okay, I really... I had a theory that I wanted to talk about, and I guess we have to talk about it on the main show now. I'm thinking, depending on when the band was formed... You know, I mean, if we're talking like the Cherry Pop and Daddies was formed in like the 1910s, you know... I, was, I believe they were. I believe. 40s, I think. I mean, if you were really going to go, but it's like Zoot Suit, right? It's one of those things where like, no original surviving members of the Sorry, Cherry Bob and Daddy's remain. Well, yeah, because no one gives a shit. Yeah, because how do you drive 36 Cherry Pop and Daddies around? How many tour big buses bus. does big it bus. take? Just, Just one, one big, big bus. Man. It can't even take the turns on the four-way, uh, like the clovers, clovers on the highway. Yeah, it's just it just has to drive straight. This is our exit. No, we got to find a straight one. There's no straight <laughs> ones for miles. It's that thing where it's like, nine minutes to destination, misses it. Hour and 45 yeah, minutes to and destination. You're like, and you're like, how? Can I just go back? And it's like, no. No. You can never go back. No, do you understand how many goddamn five-foot medians are on the side of the highway over here made out of concrete? You're going to be stuck. You ain't. You better hope you have gas in this car. And there's absolutely, you are sitting there with the light. That, and you're like, oh, thank God the light's not on. Bing! And yeah. then, God damn it, Ryan! <laughs> hey, folks, welcome to the podcast. It's called the Dapper Dads. That doesn't matter anymore. Because we're on episode five out of ten. We're halfway done. We're halfway One done. One foot in the grave, literally. Literally. Finally. And you know we've been waiting to put our feet in graves. Uh, we, you know, we we're only reference it. Show. I hate to harp on it. I love to harp on it. Oh. There's a spoiler, folks. I've never hated to harp. He's on never it. hated Almost harping like on it. Was harp is this when shit. all the big secrets start coming out? Is this in the last five episodes? Yeah, we trickle them out, and then the last one we reveal that everything's a sham. Oh yeah, everything's a sham because it was all we all died 17 years ago. Yes. Yeah. Oh, last yeah. episode. So oh, stay yeah. tuned, folks. Oh yeah, stay tuned. If you're listening now, it seems like you would, but we've been surprised before. Yeah, don't be surprised. Yeah, can you imagine somebody jumping in right now in the show? I can. And then they're like, no, what am I going to listen to? And it's like three years worth of material. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure there's going to be someone who finds this. Like, I found podcasts once they're, they've been done. And mm -hmm. then you're like, oh, fuck. What do I listen to after this? The, the This again. Yeah. You <laughs> just, just go back to, to the beginning. Forever. See how tiny and little we were three years ago. And then just look at the awful pieces of shit we've evolved into now. Yep. And you can go to www.patreon.com slash dapper dads where you can get a whole nother archive of nonsense. Um, to have and to hold, to love and to cherish in Forever. sickness and in death. Um, it will follow you to the grave. <laughs> yeah, the things we say will haunt you and your dreams. And we don't remember anything except hell. There's an episode about hell. There's an episode about hell that's really parrot. funny. And, uh, and kids that can't see or hear. <laughs> and uh, amorphous blob on the ground that likes to turn around and tell me that that's why they call them googers, huh? <laughs> Those are the only things we remember. And there's that, not to say that's it. There's plenty more. There's more in there, but that's we all I remember. Know. I still have nightmares about the little blob of goo on the ground turning to me and going, yeah, I guess that's why they call them googers, huh? And I'm like, why? It will haunt you. Um, it doesn't make any sense. It doesn't have to. Why don't you get the fuck out of here? You invited me. I came down here to see you. I came. Can the blob come? The blob is come. No, if I remember right, the blob is because it's like when you die, that's how you exist in hell. So like if you blow your brains mm -hmm. out, you got like a fucked up Don't head and too everything. Don't give too much away. And, www. and so that <laughs> may cause testicular cancer. Like what did he say about my testicle? <laughs> you are freaking out. Shh, that's a secret. <laughs> that can't get revealed to the very end. Yeah. Because then it won't. Then pe if I say I'm freaking out, people are like on alert for my freak out, and maybe people don't like when I freak out. I think it only adds to it. I think it's interesting I, when you freak out. I'm full. I'm full of panic, and I think it like fuels you. Yeah, because otherwise it is good. Because driving here, when I, okay, cats out of the fucking. You ever closet. have a fuel energy drink? <laughs> no. <laughs> 
No, I have my car. I open the door. <laughs> Fuel energy. Drink. Nothing. Oh, like, no, I haven't had an not energy even... drink since that one time we went to Minnesota. I got a monster and I got so scared. Yeah. And I loved my or that company. <laughs> not even that it starts raining and i look in the the very the rain bad fuel energy and <laughs> the, the very bad paint job you've somehow tried to spray paint over your car washes off and you have nothing but fuel energy decals all over it you're I'm like, like yeah, a horrible i'm smoke. a sponsor for fuel i'm energy. a brand you ambassador me, yeah you see me put on a hat an embroidered coat you step outside and a bunch of paint comes off of your clothes and it's all fuel <laughs> energy stuff <laughs> underneath and i'm like why didn't he just wear it over if he had why did he take the time to spray paint i thought he smelled like spray paint Fame, yeah, but he kept telling me so strong, he kept right. telling me that even when he got up from my couch when there was silver spray paint all over the couch <laughs> yeah, which i don't I, think I, is covered by the warranty he still insisted that he wasn't covered in spray paint i my, know what, what, i so i passed out and woke up with really bad lazy eye because you were so covered <laughs> yeah. in paint fumes and then you had the audacity to step outside and tell me you're not a fuel brand ambassador i'm like i know it'll get that paint off the couch and i crack open a fuel and i pour it on it and it just eats it right away. <laughs> You're like, oh, that can't be good. No, I know what'll take. Not. I know what'll take care of that pelvis pain for you. <laughs> Pour some fuel on it. It turns my skin into like a lizard-like scale-covered thing. But I'm stronger than I've ever been. So, are you happy? Or? I'm like, this Man. is what you put inside your body. Like, <laughs> yeah. oh no, that no, it's a it's a drink when you put it inside your body. But if it touches the lizard outside of your body, outside. if it touches the outside of your body, it does something different to everybody. I think it has something to do with your DNA. I have no idea. Yeah, I just got better. You turned into a bit of a lizard man. Like that one, that doctor that helps Spider-Man sometimes, and he's missing an arm. I don't think he helps Spider-Man. I think he's a villain called the Lizard. <laughs> or wait, who's the armless guy then? The Lizard. But isn't that his friend? Mm. Like early on, and then maybe when he's the Lizard. Yeah, I think be? like... I think he... Does Spider-Man have to go after every creature you know what i mean i mean like if he in, in this u- i mean in villains. this universe where he's like watching over new york city yeah when he's like your friendly neighborhood spider-man i mean can't have iron man come in and do everything from california he's too busy being a piece of shit i don't know this i hate is, iron man it's fucked up anyway folks go to www.thedapperdads.com because there's stuff there what was your point about fuel energy drink <laughs> it was an initial reason why you just wanted to ask <laughs> <laughs> what was I trying? <laughs> I hey, not remember. to interrupt, but have you ever had a feel like? Are you the brand ambassador? It's you the whole time. I'm covered in wheelchair. Oh shit! I start wheeling away. It's just a, it's, it's, not, it's just a banner that I had off that looks like the wheelchair, and it's still there, but it rips really bad. It's just a fuel. Energy. I like the idea of you having a banner. It's a chair made out of fuel energy cans, like, clearly that I've made. I like the idea of you having a banner attached to the back of the wheelchair, so when you wheel away, it just says fuel real big, but it's clearly meant to be behind a, a high speed vehicle, so it really shows off. And it's just kind of falling. <laughs> like it's just, oh my God, it just kind of like a big tail right behind me. <laughs> but like it's so big, it's clearly for like a small airplane because I read the because I read the labeling wrong. I was like, it's only six bucks on eBay. How can I afford not to get it? Become a fuel energy drink brand ambassador. The first step, working into casual conversation. Just throw it out there. Have you ever had a fuel? People will be like, I don't think so. And they'll be like, cool, maybe you should. God, I did. Be a lot cooler. I had did. a point too, but I can't remember. I would assume was. so. But I can't. Yeah, I can't it hurts my brain. It was something you were saying. <laughs> I can't imagine where you would have went with fuel. The energy drink, not the band. I know exactly where you would have went with the band. <laughs> On the tour bus, am I right? Uh, oh, call or text. You know what I'm talking about. 402 7 Dapper. That's 402 732 7737. There's too many sevens in that motherfucker. Oh, thank you. Finally, we say Jeez. it. One of the last five Secrets. episodes. Enough sevens. <laughs> Do we have two of them? We've been cursed sevens. and bogged down by the number seven, folks. Text that call it. I just realized when I got a new phone, I'd never logged back into it. So I saw a real nice text when I did. And then I saw a bunch of buttholes, as usual. Mm-hmm. So many buttholes. <laughs> so many buttholes all the time. It's part of the reason why the people just go and you looking for a cherry popping. Da- we heard your cherry popping daddies, and we're like, no, we're not. No. We just Even love making were, references to the song Zoot Suit Riot for a specific just, Patreon episode, www.patreon.com slash dapper dads. Pay, pay the money, do the thing, five bucks a month, gets you all shit. We just love making love. We just love the idea of. Even I, if I you know, was. You know what a- I love? Kissing. Yeah, we've just been some, over yeah, this but I want to I want to keep harping on it. No, because you just, just well, I can guarantee you, you'll never 
you'll never find what you're looking for. I know. And it's you're chasing the dragon. I know. And then you're like, is my breath bad? And it probably is. Is it my teeth? Like, is it my old man teeth that are awful? Yeah. Are my teeth cutting into your lips too much when we kiss? Is it my jagged tooth in the back and you put your tongue in there and it cuts your tongue all the time? Is it my riffraff novelty grill <laughs> that's just fang? <laughs> is it my Chief Keef novelty grill that I've made out of uh, dentine wrappers and shoved <laughs> oh, onto my teeth? So bad for your teeth. And then bedazzled with a bedazzler so it looks like I just got diamonds covered on silver. If I if I was allowed in a virgin, I was going to say this a while ago. Now this is just a weird statement. I was going to say I don't like. If I was that allowed into started. a virgin, I wouldn't even be able to pop her cherry. Isn't it crazy how if you throw that out in the right time, that's funny? But if you wait a minute and let it linger, it's just the most awkward thing. I was going to say, are say. you implying that like my penis is, is small. small and inactive? Okay, yeah, I was going to say, yeah. yeah, it's not going to be able to do. Yes, it's not <laughs> going. Let's let's move. On. Let's go ahead and move on past that. That was weird. Popping act. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be popping. <laughs> oh, something's gonna be popping. What's popping? Me, a Brand second. New bitch a... <laughs> I don't know. What Brand new bitch pop. just popped her. Oh, oh. <laughs> no one raps about popping cherries except I'm thinking right now that <laughs> there's someone probably does. and it's probably awful. It's gotta be. Damn, it virgins... just popped her. Brand new whip just popped her. Virgins feel Ugh, underage. I don't like that line after I Virgins said it. feel great. Can we say it? Can we just say that? I'm going to get 72. At, at, oh, after. Never, never mind. No. Anyway, uh, email. <laughs> Dappernitzpodcast at gmail.com. Just swat. Just fly. <laughs> <laughs> just the door gets kicked in. My ceiling caves in. Yeah, they come was, up through the floor. I was going to say something. My Please. cat wasn't terrified of men before. She's terrified of men now. I was terrified of men before, but now I'm a little turned on. I was Love a man in uniform. I was terrified of. I'm just getting my. my I'm just getting my goddamn pacemaker nailed on. I'm like, you know, I was terrified of men before, but now I think I might actually like them. I think are, I might actually be homosexual. And this is a hate crime. You guys are it just gonna, punches me. You guys are doing something to me that I never knew was possible. You guys are doing something to me, and I'm going to be honest. I didn't know the human asshole could lubricate itself. He just kicks me in the head <laughs> until I pass I'm out. I'm like, I knew it could. <laughs> he's like, he's. I'm like, the human asshole can lube itself. Knocks me out with his boot. Always could, and then blows my brain down. <laughs> Can I have a reduced sentence for compliance? Wham, boom. <laughs> Always does. Compliance. Compliance. It's like a compilation. You guys know what I'm talking you about. You know a compilation. You know, why don't you come pay Noisy the money? Noisy throat. Oh, look. Oh, oh, look. They spelled cum wrong. Oh, wait. No. <laughs> Follow us on Twitter at Dapper Dads. That's it. Follow us just, on Instagram. Just type it in. You'll find it. At Dapper Dads Podcast. It's slightly different, but it doesn't matter anymore. Um, what else? Is that it? I think, is that, yeah. What? <laughs> what? I, sorry, I took a little nap in there. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> I had a little heroin knot off there it. for a second. I've been, uh, oh, I I'm a quick tying hair. off in my free time. I mean, you have a lot of free time. I mean, I have so much free time, I might as well. Pee. And you have a ton of heroin. I have so much for, heroin around You've had it for so me. long. You're yeah. like, oh, yeah. You, it's just melting in the corner the over there. It's just like off, a big pile. heroin everywhere. You just blow the dust off of a crate. I'm like, it's unstable like dynamite. If you even touch it, it could <laughs> blow up. <laughs> Let me shoot it into my arm. Let me shoot, shoot it shoot into my dynamite? gun. <laughs> There's only one way to find out. Hold my beer. <laughs> <laughs> we just become super strong. Or, or can... fire retardant. <laughs> I've been called that. <laughs> Am I right? Probably. Oh, ladies. What if I film my... So anyway, that's the fifth time that I was on fire and survived. <laughs> but enough about me. What do you like to do for fun? What if I filled my body with dynamite and we went to a show and then at my favorite <laughs> point, I jumped up and just exploded? <laughs> <laughs> Did you drive? Because <laughs> that got complicated. The important questions. I like how you're like, I don't care about anything that just happened, which sounds like it could be the craziest thing that's ever happened. Because I you're like, did you try? Like, oh, fuck. That, <laughs> guy. <laughs> that guy was my bride. People are covered in blood and flesh and hair. Someone's holding hat, my arm. Your hat just gently falls down and lands on someone's head. I'm like, you have it now. My you arm's holding a beer, but just over there on the floor. <laughs> I pick it up and finish the beer. I'm like, no, you pour it out. This way. You would have wanted pour it onto someone. My scratch lips on my, someone's scratch my back, back and my ass with your hand. You would have no. wanted it this yeah. way. 
I do everything. I mean, can anybody room, drive I'm in your me room? Home. I live an hour and a half away. I'm in your room taking all your shit I'm, that I want. I'm like, hey, what do I want it this, this way. way? Leaving nothing for your loved ones to take. You wouldn't. I'm. A, he, <laughs> they don't want any of that shit. I was gonna say. Yeah. Oh, his records and t-shirts. It's cool. Oh, just please give me his underwear. He didn't have time to wash. I can maybe clone him. You don't want the recent ones. This uh. might be the best segue ever, folks. <laughs> The sequel the, the, the that sequel no one that, asked for. But everyone... The, the sequel that no one asked for, but nobody knew they needed until they found out about it. It is... Abscess can, can Part I, 2? Abscess Part 2, Electric Boogaloo. I mean, I have been told that Let's that go. is several people's favorite part of the podcast ever is that story. Which is funny because I don't think it's a very funny story. And I remember it took up so much of that episode. Like, that was primarily <laughs> you told, what was Because about. you were so traumatized and told... it, Or dare I say dramatized and told it in such she wouldn't <laughs> <laughs> don't make me fill my body with that guy, and jump oh in this no that guy was my ride <laughs> yeah i don't know if we just to, so yeah well the abscess is coming hopefully not anymore but um, yeah stay tuned we're gonna be one of those podcasts we'll be, for the yeah, last five we'll episodes right of like here's all the juicy stuff we're gonna talk about but stay tuned because we got segments yeah because we remember i wanted to double back to the uh the explosion imagine <laughs> if you were at the show and we're, we're like having a good time moshing, and then a man just fucking explodes. Explode. But what I'm picturing is you jump for some reason when you said it, I, when you said jumped in the air, I pictured like a David Lee Roth jump where he does like if this it's gonna be my last jump, that's it's what I'm gotta saying, be yeah. And you just boom above everyone. It was just a little hop. And it's, <laughs> that makes it so much crazier because <laughs> it's just a little, little poof. <laughs> immediately Whoa, as I'm covered. What in, happened? That guy slightly I'm, hopped up and I'm he covered in. Covered in guts and shrapnel. <laughs> like, that guy was my ride. Because yeah, I'm also filled with metal. No, I mean, if you're blowing up, is it, just, is it just you that blows up? Okay, is it just you blowing just up? Me. Or is it the dynamite inside of you blowing up? Or is it even inside of you? Or is it just on the outside of you? No, I'm, just feel, a I'm full of bombing. it. I'm full of like it. Like you ate it? Um, yeah, we talked about injecting it. So that's where my mind went, but. What? I don't have the schematics. I'm just asking a question. Because I'm because like if you're like exp- so like your body just like spontaneously combusts but like explodes. So there's no like, it's not like your you know I'm your bones aren't going to fly everywhere and like here is it comical like the bones all stay in one piece like I can pick up your skull afterwards or is it like it's realistic and the bones splinter and now I have your bone splinters in my face. Yeah, I guess there'd be a lot of bones. Splinters. And I'm like that guy was my ride. Yeah, and well, I imagine, also can't see out of my right eye. Imagine if it's just someone else. Like if you're at a show because this happened to me a long time ago and I will pass this along to all of the listeners to always freak out about. So I was at sound set one year and one of my friends turned to me and he was like what if someone threw a grenade in the crowd right now and it's ruined my life ever since yeah that is like thank god i wasn't there and like tripping balls as i traditionally did it sounds unlikely event of course but then you think like oh what if someone just turned and stabbed me like i can't get out of here no one can get in right i'm gonna die this guy could just stab me it's like crazy, like a whole bunch. You know what yeah. I mean? More than the average stabbing, I'd say. Hey, the, hey, the security guards weren't checking anybody's anything when they were. And yeah, and in. they're so you like when you turn around, you realize how far you are, or when you go to walk out, and it takes fucking fifteen minutes. You see minutes, how many people there. You're like, are. oh, I'll die. And even at now at just a show, I'm like, someone could stab me, and the music's so loud, and no one's paying attention that I'd feel like if I was just screaming and bleeding, people would not even notice it. I wonder if that guy that got the cut on his face is okay. I don't know what you're talking about. Remember, he was the guy that was really stressed out driving the bus, the shuttle. Oh, oh my God. He's not okay. No. Well, I caught him. <laughs> that was you? Yeah. That's why I was Big the Big reveal only, episode. That's why I was Five left. I was the only, Yeah, imagine what's coming. <laughs> I caught him, man. And that's not legal. It wasn't Tristan. No, we never cut him. That's why Tristan. I had to cut that Tristan guy. Tristan was naked Tristan. making the cookies. Um, that's why he couldn't come get us. Well, <laughs> That's why I was the only one. Put the chef's hat on his dangling. <laughs> Little one or big one? Big one, because he's got a big. But I like the idea of a, a <laughs> comically small hat. No, just one that would fit on your dick like a normal hat fits on your head. You know what I mean? Little dick hat. <laughs> but dick it's got to cover his whole dick. So we don't even see the hog at all. It's implied. What that if there's... it's just a long one? You know how you can get like that uh, elephant trunk, like, uh, like underwear and you put your, yeah. put your penis into you the always little see on pouch. wish there's yeah. no way my penis is going in that <laughs> pouch especially even on a good day i thought you meant like 
I'll never put my penis. I'll do a lot of shit. Let's. I'm not. Listen, man, I'll, I'll, I'll suck a dick on the Golden Gate Bridge before I put my dick in that pouch. All right. And I was like, is the pouch gross to you? Is the pouch? Or is it just unethical? It's unethical in my re- for religious reasons. It's unethical. I just want to just want to point it out. I'm say less. I'm some type of orthodox, and I cannot be caught putting my penis into a sheath. Amazing. Same reason I don't use rubbers. Am I right? Rubber hardly no. But at that, but at that. But yeah, right picture, can we get that with a, a chef's hat so it's just long? And you slice is it the like whole, okay? Is, is it like covers the whole penis? Is it like the little hat. chef's hat you put on the end of the turkey legs on Thanksgiving? Yes, we can go with that. But it's long, so it like but like however it's, so long it's your like penis a long is. Hat yeah, with it, the chef bit on top. Right, that's what I was picturing. Okay, I thought you were picturing a big hat. That no, like I'm picturing like it's basically like fitted to his penis, but it oh, is a okay. chef's hat. I hate that. I hate that I have that job of fitting the chef's hats to. The you penis, don't have to. You don't. You didn't are. have to have the job, but it, when we decided that when the show was work. over, that Except we I lie a lot. <laughs> big reveal. We were to, yeah, big reveal. You always up. You always upsize the guys because you want them to feel better, but then they get it in and they're like, "Oh, I'm small. It's I don't even baggy. fit in this." Yeah, I should be. Is this them what tight. a five inch is supposed to be? Yeah, the worst part is getting them hard to get the true fit in. Yeah, because you're sitting, you're down there, you're just, blowing su- them. you're just sucking on them yeah. and spitting, and you're like trying to a do a girl work. voice, but it's weird because you're like, just close your you eyes, like I sound that? like a girl. Yeah, you're like, close your eyes, I sound just like a lady. Oh, you like that, big boy? <laughs> like the way I suck on your balls? <laughs> Isn't this nice? Aren't we having a you make me time? so horny? I'm real wet. You make my old lady bits real wet. <laughs> What the fuck? Sorry, my hooker persona is an old hooker. That's what an old hooker sounds like to you? Because I got propositioned by an old hooker one time, and she sounded exactly what I pictured her to sound like. It's like, oh, it's hey, like, baby, watch what I can do. And then she puts her arm down into her throat, yeah, that, down her, to her elbow. Grabs her organ. And you're like, I, I'm not that big. Like, no, who's yeah, that no. big? Why would I be? Why would I'm anybody here? be that big? Well, you know, I've sucked a couple of dicks. In my d- it's implied when yeah. you come up to me and say, how you doing, sweet pea? And then shove your arm in t- all the way up to your elbow into your mouth. That woman w- wanted a cigarette, and I lied and told her I was almost out. I tell her I just don't smoke cigarettes while I was smoking, smoking a cigarette. cigarette. And then she goes, oh, you fucked up. I would have sucked you so good. And what? I was like, you were going to suck my dick for, for a, a cigarette? cigarette? You hear about it, but then like, experiencing it. How, and letting her this? do it in the alley really changes your perspective. Yeah, I mean, this, this was, is like... I feel like I said this on the show. It was outside the room. It was probably like three, four years ago. Four I years was ago. there. I was standing right next to you when it happened, and I don't even remember it. Yeah, you were like, I'll suck your dick for a cigarette. And I was like, we can't keep doing this. We Just can't keep doing pack. this. And I, I don't have enough nut left <laughs> in my body. I'm like, please, I'll suck your dick for the ninth time tonight if I can just have another cigarette. Every cigarette. Yeah, Every I cigarette like, I suck your dick. Can you imagine? And that's what I was thinking with her. I'm like, is this how you operate? Like, you just walk around. Not even a pack. You think you get a pack, so you suck less dicks. Or I, she just doesn't. Like, she's just I mean, fine how much is it? Even, like, everything. the cheap. Because, I mean, like, imagine sucking a dude's dick and he gives you, like, a Pall Mall. I know. And a Lucy is a dollar. And they right. used to be a quarter. Used to be. You could just go in and sometimes if you were really nice, just ask for a Lucy and they'll give you one. Yeah. Because they were getting old because they've been sitting out for a while. Yeah. A stale. And then you use that cool. lighter on a leash they have attached to the thing. Yeah. Don't smoke in here. Get out. And you're like, give me then matches. And you're like, then why do you and have like, the lighter always take too many here. matches. And I'm like, yeah, because no one gives you matches anymore. Don't smoke in here. Well, then don't have the lighter in here where I can't take it outside. All right. So the abscess. It made its return. Abscess is back. Loyal listeners will remember about two years ago, um, there's an episode called The Abscess. I would I would have to say for maybe the first time ever on the podcast, it is required listening before this. Yes. There's going to be a lot of alluding to it, and uh, you'll want to draw the parallels because there are some big ones. Can we give them just like a quick recap for, for yeah, the people so who were, weren't with us? For- yeah, everybody can use a refresher. Two years ago, approx- almost at the like the exact same time we just discussed this um i had a abscess in my butt crack slightly above my asshole this happened to me when i was 20 and it eventually got so bad that it ruptured in the bathroom of the place i was living and it smelled horrible and it was gross and crazy and then it didn't happen again until two years ago basically and since then in between this one it has happened two other times but it just flares up and then it goes away and it's not even that bad it's a little uncomfortable for like a day 
that's my best case scenario because it's clearly this. It's like technically a disease. I'm a diseased person. The thing You're I want to emphasize. You're filled with disease and infection. That's what I want to emphasize. My, yeah. My least favorite thing about this. Like I don't give a shit. I'll tell everybody that I get my ass cut open occasionally and pus comes out of it. Not, I mean, it's not something you should brag about. It's I've been some, shouting it. You, I mean, you don't lead into a conversation. Like if you're out on a date with a girl, about. don't lead in and be like. I go on dates just to tell the story. Okay. So uh, th- three. Th- okay. So uh, two truths and a lie. Uh, I got my ne- ass cut open. I've never been to Disney World. I get my ass cut open routinely um usually like once every couple of years uh Around november and uh i think the grand canyon is the most romantic place on earth <laughs> he's like wow these are really different like wow this girl fucking sucks <laughs> but uh but boy i saw her shove her arm into her mouth up to her elbow. and i gave her a cigarette i just i gave her a cigarette and decided i had to take her to denny's afterwards uh, yeah so it happened two years ago to where it had to be cut open. It was the first time I've ever had that. It was done by a medical professional, not a hobo in an alley. And uh, it was as awkward I as you can imagine. I don't like being called a professional. You know, I think I'm more of a amateur. Hobo in an alley. <laughs> <laughs> it turns out the medical professional was, in fact, a hobo in an alley. If I I'm had... a professional anything, it's a hobo in an alley. <laughs> that's a, yeah, it's hard to turn pro. You got to do it for so long. Oh, you got to get so good at trash hobo. Fires. You're dressing up as a hobo for Halloween again. I'm dressing up. Halloween. <laughs> Halloween. <laughs> it's November. Um, yeah. So it just got cut open. Listen to the episode if you haven't before, because it's very detailed and it's very crazy. So this starts Sunday. I feel it kind of flare up. I had to help someone move, which I think exacerbated it. I've been mm. trying to work that word into conversation more because it's such a boss word. Like exacerbated. It's just, yeah. And I used to have a hard time saying it. I want to say something else. I don't remember what it was. And I don't want to. <laughs> yeah. I really... It, throughout the week, my ass issue <laughs> masturbated. Got it. Got masturbated. Whoa. My ass, my ass crack got masturbated over the week. Is this a Platts thing? Maybe. Could be. Could be. There are a lot of... <laughs> Not, I guess they're not big buttholes, but maybe deep, deep before the beginning. You just know, maybe it's just the angle, you know. It's definitely I mean, like, the angle, the angle, the angle. If you ask me, because Those I mean, like I've watched falling. enough, Ow! I've watched enough porn to see like I doubt it. Th- th- there's no, runs, you want to doubt that? Runs to your That's room, what you want to doubt? Watching porn, like he said, I wasn't watching enough. He said, it I, means I get to watch more. It means I get to watch even more, guys. Don't worry, my wife still lets me have a little bit of porn <laughs> as a treat, as a treat on the weekends if I'm a good boy and I don't come all week. <laughs> So, yeah, Sunday felt it. Monday was aware, like, it was starting to get more intense. Tuesday, it was getting more intense. Tuesday, I'd, there was things on Amazon that I had found that aren't for it, but, like, I found on Reddit, like, people are, like, take uh, turmeric. Yeah. And is it Sylvia? Or so, what's that word? Salvia? Uh, so, no, yeah, take salvia. <laughs> and get your yeah. mind off of it. And I'm like, all right, Amazon, send me salvia. And they did it. Yeah, and I'm like, that's why I've been freaking out. I'm like, actually. My bro's I been never high even got on salvia. He doesn't open. even give a fuck about his ass thing anymore. So, yeah, I don't want to, yeah, have the stories long. So, basically, sativa? I tried to, tried to do you some to smoke shit. smoke a sativa? No. I don't know what the word is. Silica? S- stevia? Silica? I think it's silica. The silica gel packs that come in the shoes that See, you're not that's supposed what I, to eat? Yeah, that's what I thought. But then Pack there's like in pills there? that they are like take that. I, they're probably two different things, but it seems like the word's the same. Who fucking cares? It doesn't Psilocybin? Matter. You're supposed to trip on mushrooms while you after you have your ass cut open? Probably. I need the answer to this fucking question. Why won't this stop? Maybe you'll figure it out if you <laughs> trip on mushrooms. But uh, yeah, so I had ordered some stuff. So Wednesday, I'm like really fucked up. Mm-hmm. Like, it's not going well. And I was trying to wait to see if I, like, got that stuff in the mail. You know when you're like, I'll try something, and my only hope is that it medical, medically, it, a me- oh, wow, hold on, where are we going? Who knows? You're freaking Automatically out. fixes it. I'm automatic. And it never does, because you're like, oh, I bet some turmeric will really just get this. Because I think, my thing is I put off going to the doctor as much as I can, because I have to show my ass to somebody, and yeah. they're going to cut it open, and it hurts. And it's just awkward. Oh, it's that's the worst part, and we'll get into it, because it was more awkward to... than the first time. Really? Yeah, significantly. Hold on, it's coming soon. Um, so yeah, I'm like trying, my, my problem is I always try to put it off for too long, and then... Do you know what drawing salve is? Salve? Yeah. So I'm using that shit because I try to not do it. And then I'm like, all right, let's try to get it to pop on my own so I don't have to go. And then I end up like 
putting it off and then making it real intense and then just fucking ending up going anyway. Yeah. So yeah, Thursday I'm like, all right, I'm going to go there like when doors open, like I'm waiting for new Jordans. I'm in the immediate care parking lot, like ready to go. Cause it hurts so well, even, fucking bad. Well, and even worse in the current climate now, I'm sure. Yeah, that too. That's another reason why I didn't want to go. Distancing and you had to have a mask on the whole yeah. time. Yeah, I just wanted to be the first person. So because otherwise you got to sit in the chairs, and this is to the point Ugh. where I can't sit like this. Right. And I got to like lean. And last time I had to lean and sit there for like two hours before they took me in. And so I was on top of it. I'd woken up at 3.30 just in pain. I'm taking baths at 3.30 in the morning. Fucking Man. my ass up in the, like, up a little bit. You know I don't hear I mean? from you sometimes. And I'm like, oh, he's doing all right. And then I <laughs> almost find out never. this is what's <laughs> almost, yeah, never. almost never are you doing all you right. You should stop assuming it at this point. I, I can't just text you. It about you. But if I see, but if I text you every day and I'm like, "Hey, you doing all right?" I'm just gonna get no. Yeah. No. And then, I'm you, not. then now you just have the burden of not being able. To yeah. Help and then me. I have the burden of being a fixer and not being able to do anything. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I'm like Thursday, 7 a.m. I'm in the parking lot at 6:45, ready to rock. I'm outside of the door at seven, like an old person at the mall. Like <laughs> I want in. You've got your voucher ready because you pre-ordered the PlayStation 2. Yeah, I'm like, let's fucking go. Let's rock and roll, daddy. I want my Windows 94. (laughs) Cherry popping daddies. Ew. Um, (laughs) Disgusting. I get in there. I get checked in. Uh, They take me to the room. They take me to a normal room. The first time I went, it was room number one. Okay. Which I visited because there's a follow-up to this. I visited it yesterday. It's a big room. Makes more sense. Table in the middle. That's where it happened. The other one's just the regular one, so it's not even the table yet. And I'm like, I need to lay down on my side, of course, so that this person can dig into my ass. And so it's a weird room already. The, like, Sitting there laid out like Burt Reynolds in front of the fire. <laughs> I wish there was a fire. Um, Yeah, the guy comes in, do blood pressure, whatever. And it's one of those things that it sucks every time you have to say it. You right. Know what I mean? Yeah. And you, you have to say it to so many people yeah. because every why are you here? That that's one of the worst ones, too, when you're right in the front. If there are other people and you're like, oh, and that's the point I was trying to make was the one of the things I hate the most about this is I feel like it implies that I'm a filthy person. You know right. what I mean? Yeah. And I'm like very clean. That's why I'm glad I figured out it's this. I don't know how to say the word. It's like paleodonial disease. And uh-huh. it's just like because it happened, it will just happen unless I have this surgery that might not fix it. But I want to emphasize that I'm clean. Like, I'll tell everybody about what happens because it's kind of funny. And but you're ridiculous. not. And, and I will attest to this. You're not talking out of your ass. You are a very clean Yeah, person. I try to, like, clean enough to where I don't just have my clean ass. Clean enough just, to where I've never, I mean? I've never seen you, in all the time that I've known you, I've never seen you in such a living state to where I thought. <laughs> to where you thought to, abscesses, to where should, abscesses grow on should grow on That's you. what yeah. I mean, yeah. Because you see some people. And, and you're, you're like, you've. that's what I think now when I walk around after this has happened to me twice, three times technically that mm-hmm. it, my ass has like rejected some pause and i see some people now and i'm like you've got to be filthy under there like, like you yeah, should be covered in boils like a plague like there's people I yeah not. there's people that come into my work and i see them and i'm like there is you you have to be just covered in disease like there's no way there's no way that you aren't just like covered in filth yeah and as you can imagine after the the most recent one that got cut open i really cleaned that area yeah i like, like medical you, you pay grade extra soaps for care for attention and stuff like i I'm doing that. I'm cleaning my butthole better than ever because I know for a fact. And that's what I mean. But I was never 15, clean. skating, not showering for days, not cleaning Ball my ass stink. like at all. Like my ass. Jerking off. Yeah, not washing my jerking ass. Off into jerking my off. Balls. <laughs> jerking, <laughs> jerking off. Like, uh, jerking off onto my asshole. balls and falling asleep. Yeah, like that probably exactly happened. <laughs> yeah. And nothing happened. And then you happened. wake up I in the middle of the night and your sport. hand is stuck to your dick and you're like, oh, fuck. And then you oh, like dry it funny. off and you're like, Bleh. And then that's my thing. It's like a upgrade of a stranger you no know, so what you know because then what it has to downgrade evolve of a stranger. what it has to evolve into is the downgrade you, of a stranger you and the girl both get so drunk that you come and you both pass out and then you wake That's up nice. and gotta pull out i feel like you'll fall out at some point mine gets really small after yeah mine gets so out. yeah mine's just like hey we're gonna go to bed now and it's so intense it's like all right guys cast party in the balls after this we did a good <laughs> job yeah. her vagina comes with can you imagine her vaginas and your balls hanging out at the cast party? Can you imagine my penis goes into my balls and her vagina goes into my balls? 
And I'm like, sorry, this happens to everybody. And then I and leave. then from your balls, and you I just, just have a collection of pussies at my house, like I'm Ed Gein. And then from your balls, you you just hear. <laughs> yeah. like, Shut you up know down they're there. Really that's partying a, in there. That's an offensive band. That's an name. offensive song, and your my balls, balls are, are like, oh, I just got your it. Your balls are in there fucking her pussy, and you're like, wow. What does my dick do? And sit in the corner like a dork. <laughs> yeah because he usually is yeah because he well he already did all the work the balls are the ones that the dick just wants to get drunk and have a good time now Sounds the right. balls are like all right i'm emptied out i'm ready to party again you know because right. i feel like it's a dichot- so it seems like they're on the same page it's a dichotomy of man the dick does the work when mm-hmm. the balls need to be emptied so the balls can rest and make work for the dick to do again they were it's like the sun and the moon <laughs> working in tandem you know the sun sets so the moon can rise and the west and the east so that your balls can be filled and then be emptied again. I got to be honest with you. I zoned out. And I don't know what's going on. And I like, <laughs> and then I came back and you're like the sun. That's the sun and the moon like, and your it dick could have been balls. five seconds or 45 minutes. Yeah, I've been talking for 45 yeah, minutes. Like, Look at the time. You've just been letting me talk. I've been trying to get you to come back and I thought this was like a bit. So I started I'm filling to get the you dead to air up. And it's, yeah, it's like trying to get you to come. I'm filling up the dead air for 45 minutes and nothing you're just happens. just jerking me off. Sorry, I zoned out. It's not out. even a jerk. It's like a porno. It's like a homemade porno porno you watch where like i'm like blowing you <laughs> what, what is this you tell you tell i don't know so i'm what like blo- i'm like blowing you and it's like really hot <laughs> you meant i'm blowing you and i'm like what is this is this a dick i'm sucking yeah this, this is, is seem that's right, my fucking right? sad cock ass. that's weird right I'm like yeah it's super weird that's a weird dick and it's weird, weird. that you're sucking it it's <laughs> weird that you're talking to me about it if i can be honest <laughs> Everything about this situation is weird. I wish it wasn't happening. But here we are. But here we are. So you might as well just keep fucking come. Yeah, and then I come because you're sucking my dick. What is this? A dick? (laughs) (laughs) What is this? Is this a dick? Is this thing? Yeah. Is this a fucking? I don't. I don't. Is really? Is this a fucking? Is this a fucking... Ooh. Hell yeah. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> okay. You know, I think you have to watch the video for most yeah, of that. that well, we might clip can that. Can you imagine being the audio? Loop it forever. <laughs> just, <laughs> I have some plans <laughs> for it. Yeah, I can imagine it being the audio when I have to edit it. And I'm like... Oh, oh yeah. Damn, you're going to be... Slim's just making mouth noises again. Yeah, that's what the subtitles are going to have to say in the video. Slim's mouth noises again. So, yeah. I go in. Weird room. Blood pressure. Then this guy comes in. He has a weird name. He's a nice guy. He, he It's a guy, which sucks at first, right? Right. I like... Because like mono y mono, you don't want to seem like... Mm, you don't want to admit you're weaker than another man in a situation. I just feel like women are so much more comforting. That Last too. time it was yeah. a woman, and she just like... She fucking killed it, dude. Like, immediately knew what was up. I made a weird... I gotta put the... Sorry. I'm, fucking, I'm holding the microphone still, and that's weird. Um, But she did a great job, and she was real... Real nice and sensitive. And that doctor, the last time when the doctor came in, he, he comes in and goes, let me get a look at that ass. Like, starts with a weird joke. And I was like, then, that's not what, I don't want a man making, and then I, he's I don't like, need a man sexualizing my boil. And this was last time, and he's talking about how I'm going to need surgery. They won't even be able to do anything. And that's like the worst thing to hear in that moment. So this time, yeah, it's like a guy who's younger than me. So I'm like, I hate that it's a guy. I hate that they're younger than me. That mm-hmm. feels weird. I'm already getting to that point where I'm like the old man being like, excuse me, youngin, can you cut my ass? Excuse so me, far? young man, would you mind? Oh, yeah, you're going to be that old man. Just, oh, yeah, just back for my yearly ass abscess draining. I'll kill myself. I will. Like, I know I joke about it constantly, but I will murder myself in the immediate care. Um, <laughs> you go blow your brains out right when they open and everyone's like, why? No, why right when they cut into open? the ass. Oh, yeah. that's a beautiful. Just <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, then um, <laughs> the guy's like, "Whoa, that abscess was really <laughs> holding in a lot of pressure." <laughs> that's wait, what it feels. Wait, like. he was my ride. <laughs> I uh, yeah. So I'm I'm sitting there, whatever. I'm explaining it to him. He takes a look, and he's like, "Yeah, that does look pretty gnarly." He said, which I didn't think was the oh, most doctory word. He's like, "Whoa, that's pretty tubular <laughs> looking back here, dude." And it, it was. Uh, oh man that's an abscess so big i could ollie on that thing yeah i was like okay man can we 
Can, can we recommend. cut the Tony Hawk Pro Skater 1 and 2 references over here, okay? Yeah, you know when they alley, alley the abscess? Yeah. It's a gap in school It's a two. secret play level that you have to get through. You have to like... Yeah, it's do, after skate you have to get You have to beat every level on pacifist mode, which I don't mm-hmm. understand. It's real soft. Yeah, it's just real gentle. You gotta suck a bunch. You don't even like... You don't do any tricks. You just glide around everything. <laughs> but yeah, so he takes a look at it. And, and then you suck a bunch. And then he... Uh, he tells me to <clears throat> he gets a gown and he's like all right i'm gonna and this is the thing they always go i guess we can try and lance it and you're like what the fuck else are we gonna as do? opposed to what i don't know they always act like it's not gonna work and then they are always immediately like holy shit it's working too well because so much comes out we'll get to it on the next episode <laughs> <laughs> oh hell yeah we're gonna stretch this out over the last behind a new paywall last, we're offering yeah. for the last five, last five episodes, episodes for 29.99 oh wow okay yeah somewhere in between there we're still working <laughs> somewhere between 30 and 500 dollars <laughs> i know it's a wide margin but this is where your super we'll fan status comes into play yeah. it's per minute it's like a dollar per yeah. minute so it's like a dollar per minute so it's like 500 dollars a minute to <laughs> get the rest of the content which really but you're gonna want to hear you're gonna want to hear it's all premium content it's not us just talking about getting our dick sucked we promise (laughs) so he he gives me a gown and he leaves the room to get the stuff so we can try and lance it and he tells me to remove my pants and my underwear it makes it so much worse last time i just pulled it down Expose my like, buttocks. Remove entirely your pants and underwear. Yes, yeah, so I'm in a gown. He made you Donald Duck it in the doctor's office. Mm-hmm. Oh, in a gown. <laughs> and then it's just so weird. I have and to then, pray protection over you now because not you've now been it's in, already happened. I know, and but you've been put worse. in such a compromising it situation. Worse. You've been put in such a compromising situation that your soul does not know peace. That I have to. I don't have it. a soul anymore. It's gone. It got. So it got drained when he in threw the abscess. That gown at me and said, "Take your pants off. Take little your man. pants off, you little bitch." You were like, what? And he said, I said little. <laughs> then he said your name. <laughs> oh, I thought you were just I said little. And you're like, why are you calling me little? He's like, because I see what you're packing in the front, chief. Yeah, so that's And you're my... like, I'll have you know, I just fucked the lady and fell asleep before I came over here. So it's just really small right now. <laughs> it's Pull down out. your pants. Your balls are still going. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Watch out, there's some pussies in my ball. Yeah, there's a pussy in my ball. Try not to drain that out. They're having a real good time in there from what I hear. But that's the other thing. So, yeah, last time my penis never came out because it was in my pants. Okay. This time my penis is just out and it's, it's small. Yeah, it's because so you're small. nervous. And I'm in pain, excruciating pain. And that's another fun thing I love that doctors and dentists do is ask you if the thing hurts when they're just fucking abusing the yeah. thing. And you're like, it did. And now it hurts worse. And now it hurts worse because I'm focusing it. on it. So he gets Does me. this hurt? Starts doing it immediately harder after without giving you a second to answer. So I'm on my side, and like the way it's set up, there's the the doors like here, and then the table is like right in front of it. So if you if the door was to be opened at any point, which would be weird, but happened on three different occasions, <laughs> it's just a direct look into my ass. On I'm on my side, but you know what I mean. Uh-huh, like yeah, you're getting a great look, like better than most people. So he he gets me in the gown. He like really takes a look at it. And this is why I mentioned the drawing style before, because if you're not familiar with this, it's this weird, like real thick, dark brown shit that if you rub a bunch, it turns a lighter brown. And then you put it on like pimples or boils and it brings it to a head and it pops. It's supposed right, to get out. Yeah. Also learned it can pull like splinters and metal shards out of yeah. your body and crazy shit. I read a bunch of reviews. It's like a magic salve. Yeah. And it makes no sense. It's so not it's even like, from this planet. <laughs> It's the best that it's dark brown and I rub it just above my asshole. And when it's there, it looks like shit. It looks like I'm wiping shit up into my abscess, which could explain why I have an abscess if I'm just wiping shit up my In, ass crack. To, yeah. But I had, and I try to clean it off, but it's so thick and it just sticks on there. And my ass crack is hairy, as you can imagine. So it's hard to get all of it off. And I wanted, he asked me what I had been doing. But he said it just like that, too. He's like, what have you been doing? And you're like, I don't know. What's up with you? <laughs> what have you been doing? And just then vibing he, at the crib. What about you? Yeah, I was like trying not to do anything, you know? And he's like, you haven't been like putting a warm compress on it? And I was like, oh, I don't feel like you asked that question. I think right. you asked a different question. Yeah, I've been doing all kinds of shit, dude. I'm really trying to not be here to have you cut my ass over. Right. Like I've been doing pretty much everything I can. And I meant to tell him about that. 
stuff because I wanted to hope that maybe he knew it was dark brown because he like oh, really no. gets in there and it was mostly cleaned off, but he gets in there and then he go he goes, hold on, I want to get something to clean it off more. And then I was like, I hope he doesn't think there's just shit on my ass abscess. That would suck more than just the yeah. Here. And then yeah, he opens the door and he's like, don't worry, no one can see. Or he goes, don't worry, no one's looking. And I was like, I prefer the that you just didn't no even one... say that. Yeah, or just no one can see. Right. No one's looking is pretty subjective. Or it can yeah. change pretty quickly. Someone could just peek in. And I'm yeah, because usually like... when you say nobody's nobody's looking, people tend to kind of look and be like, what's that guy yelling about? Yeah. And then, so he comes back. And this, the crazy thing is the worst part is the numbing. Like, they numb mm-hmm. it with a needle. Mm-hmm. And it hurts so so bad yeah because that's that initial shove in with right. the needle that and it feels hurts. like it's just in there and so right before that i don't know what he was doing i think he was just pressing around to see like where it actually is because it kind of is hard to tell where it like where you really want to hit it at right yeah and i don't know what he did but i yelled and like came up off of the bed several inches and then he's like you can't do that and i was like yeah you can't do whatever the fuck you, you just, just did. did right and he's like well i'm about to like put a needle in you and then lance it like you can't be jumping around and i'm like yeah you're gonna tell me when you do that right we're not just gonna you <laughs> just gonna did do something. it without reckless abandon you just shoved your finger inside of me oh. he did not put his finger in my ass like the no, last lady God. did and i mean yeah if anyone's gonna do it again i prefer it to be a lady prefer it to be a lady so he then he yeah numbs it and i mean i was just wait and that one of the most upsetting things and it's the podcast is to blame i've learned now when i'm in severe pain and i'm saying things or making noise and trying not to be super loud i do the ray romano voice essentially so i'm on this bed and this guy's numbing my ass and i'm like any words oh fuck (laughs) it sounds like weirdly sexual because you know what i mean like you're just like in so much pain it's so shocking this is too much for you should we end it Call the phone just, number five hundred dollars a minute or something. I'm just picturing you. <laughs> yeah, let's take a timeout for a second because nope, can't. This, this is giving me like an anxiety pain in my stomach. You laying there, tiny dick, salve on your ass, looks like shit. That guy not it was being, wiped off. I don't want to emphasize. I don't even know if that's true. Honestly, it was guy just one not of my be, fears. guy not being guy not being clear. Nobody's looking. Shoving his finger into the abscess, making it hurt. Telling you, you can't do that. And yeah, and he was talking about the Ray Romano voice. And then you're doing the Ray Romano voice. Ow, 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 ow. No wonder you started spot shaking on. It while you were making noises. I start shaking too if I thought my dad no, was, this was relapsing back into the Ray no, Romano voice this and I was, was going to have to live with it again. This was only like during that time. That this makes was it the, even worse because that means in like extreme, like if you and me were kidnapped pain. in like Columbia and getting tortured for money, yeah, I would right. just hear you getting tortured Sorry, in the other room, man. and you're like, oh, no, I can't no, 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 get it anymore. It hurts. wasn't that. It wasn't that clear, but it like leaned towards. The, I think it's a throat thing, and I was making more guttural noises because I was being I hate that injured. That voice a thousand percent so comes from my throat. Mad. If I lost my throat, I don't know if I'd be able to make that voice anymore. As in, like you got like throat cancer? <laughs> no, like two clean cuts and my head falls down <laughs> on my neck. Uh-huh. With, and then it's fine. It's like totally you can fine. just you can breathe okay as long as you keep it like that. Yeah, it just like plops down. Is your voice really high then, or can you even talk? Yeah, I just can't do the Ray Romano voice. But then, like, here's the problem with that though: is like you're missing the throat, but not not the neck bones. So like, your head just kind of tips down, I, and like a weird thing that has to get sewn together right here. So you're constantly. You didn't see the guy from Ninety Day Fiance? Would you be my friend if I was like talk like? I'm this? barely your friend now, so oh, you can't fair. make too many radical yeah, changes. Yeah, yes. Especially when it comes to losing a neck, that's pretty big for me. <laughs> yeah, would you? It's gonna be a no for me. Would dog. you be seen in public with me if I was like? I yeah, don't yeah. like being seen with you in public now, so no. <laughs> oh. Anything else? Unless it gets me brownie points and sympathy with the women. I was gonna say I. we do got the wheelchair right now, so I'm thinking. This is my little stupid crippled friend that I take out for ice cream. Vegan ice cream because he's stupid and crippled. Crib. Now he's throwing up game time. <laughs> Again, on the video. That's just the thing we said you oh, can't yeah, do anymore. Yeah, that's right. We did and say I don't know why it's anymore. come up more than once because <laughs> you weird. think it yeah. wouldn't. You think it wouldn't. You think I just wouldn't do it considering I have no gang affiliation. Yeah. yeah, let's make that clear. Yeah. Slim has none. I'm Aladdin King. <laughs> <laughs> Has a big old chest tattoo. Yeah. Got a teardrop for every guy he killed. He's got no teardrops. Yeah. I ain't never killed nobody, I <laughs> promise. <laughs>
It probably seemed weird. That's a little Wayne reference. Yeah. I was going to continue it to make it make more sense, but then it just wouldn't have. So, anyway, this guy's knee deep in my ass. Okay. And so he. And you're making the Ray Romano. I'm making voice. big Ray Romano. And he puts the needle in. And this shit's so, like, inflamed that just the needle starts it leaking. Like, I can feel it as I'm uh, feeling it get numb. I'm also, like. And I don't know if the last brain. time you've had something numb and then, like, a warm liquid over it. It's never, a crazy never. sensation. I don't think I've ever had that. So he numbs it, waits, and then cuts into it. This time I felt the cut so much more than last mm. time. And, yeah, it's funny. They go from, like I said, uh, we can try to lance it. We don't know how well it's going to work to, oh, my God, there's so much coming out every time. Right. They've been like, oh, my God. He had to go get more, like gauze and stuff to clean up i was just pouring all over the place oh my god just blood and pus and i was wearing two masks because they made me i'm not like a crazy person <laughs> that's not my go-to style should be um i wear, I wear six i was gonna say i wear nine <laughs> just to be sure they i wear out i wear nine and they wrap all show. around the top of my head leaving only my eyes exposed yeah it's horrible. And even then i have one that i just cut little eye holes out of so i look like the invisible man made out of masks <laughs> So, Except you can see the rest of my flesh very clearly. I'm wearing two masks, and I can still get a little whiff. Because, like I said, the first time it was um, still get a little whiff. It was the stink, one of the stinkiest things. I've yeah, ever didn't didn't stonk. didn't someone have to leave the room because it was so stinky? They didn't. I mean, yeah, the doctor <laughs> leaves because it's stinky, and I'm just like, are you gonna pack it or what? No, they had to leave the door open. No, didn't you tell me that? The person that... That woman died. Oh, yeah, that's right. She fainted to death. (laughs) She fainted so hard. She fainted onto the scalpel that she lanced me with. Wow. She was fine, but she didn't want to run the risk of that using that same tool, Mm. the pus, so she killed herself in front of us. With the pus tool. Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, it didn't make sense to me. Then does it now. (laughs) I brought it up when I was at the doctor, and they were like, we don't like to talk about that. Doesn't make sense then. Doesn't make sense now. Didn't make sense when I brought it up at her funeral when I was giving a eulogy. Because they wanted me to, because her mom, yeah, you know, her parents, know. and her siblings were like, you were the last person that saw her alive, and we just wish you would say something. And I'm like, the smell yeah, they, from they, my they, ass they killed your daughter because she... They meant they wanted me to make a statement. God, and maybe speak pay for at the fucking funeral. funeral. And yeah, I was like, and you're oh, up there, you're, you're, you're smacking your hands like a real Italian. Work out some material. Like, you're really uh, just talking okay. with your hands about it. You're like, the thing is, I, I, apparently my ass smell killed your daughter, and I don't feel like I should be responsible yeah. for that. Mother, sister, cousin, cousin, brother, fainter. grandma, fainter, fainter, fainter. You're all fainters. It's ironic that her last name was Fainter, Doctor Fainter. <laughs> Doctor fa- fainter. fainter hardly knew her. <laughs> <laughs> Doctor Fainter hardly knew her. But dad, dad, the and then you leave. <laughs> Everyone's so confused. Everyone's sobbing because of how disrespectful you are. I love it. As you peel out doing donuts in the parking <laughs> lot, throw a bomb bag out, and then light a cigarette. <laughs> Fill my body with dynamite and jump at the funeral. <laughs> I'm glad he took his <laughs> own life. I'm exactly the guy was my ride. Uh, so yeah, then he he's cutting it open. I'm just oozing like I'm getting paid to do it. And uh, yeah, it's ba- basically that. But then I am what he describes to be as covered in blood. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and he also is he was a real sweetheart. He kept apologizing for like how personal it was getting. Cause right, cuz like, he had to the, like clean up in your in, I'm he assuming had he to, had to clean up in between your butt cheeks. He had to at the very end rub the backside of my balls and my asshole to clear blood off of them. <laughs> and that is a thing that I can say. A hundred percent, honestly, has never happened to me before, believe it or not. Can I say I'm sorry, but not express that there's no words can I to say really... Can I say I'm sorry, but not express it? Can I say I'm sorry, sure. but express that there's not words deep enough to express how truly sorry I am that that happened to you? Yeah, man, it's crazy. Like That's... Because uh, even in... even Ah... Uh, yeah. The only comparable thing I have is when they cathetered me when I was back yeah. with the heart shit. But that's like a thing that happens. You know what I mean? Like, that's a normal thing. It happens that ain't normal, buddy. I don't know if you've ever had a tube in your I dick, mean, but like, there was nothing normal about it. I mean, that is a very common medical practice right. across the board. Like, a lot of people well, probably Well, cleaning patients is also a... 
But wiping blood and pus off of a man's backside Maybe of his balls and not asshole, that it probably doesn't come up into as the playbook, much. you know? I mean, I feel like it dedicated, and there might be like a page to that. Yeah, that's what I was, chapter, I was saying too, like, because he kept apologizing and then eventually I was like, also, I'm sorry for doing this to you. Right, like, I, I mean? am also sorry that this and is how you like, had to start oh, your no, day. Oh, no, 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 like, it's fine. And I'm sure, like... You're, if you're a doctor, you sign up. You know there's going to be some weird shit like that. Oh, yeah. I, but at the same point, no one wakes up Wednesday morning and it's like, can't wait to. I hope I cut a man's ass open and it pusses and bleeds first everywhere. First thing in the morning, too. Immediately. That, 7, that's how I'm starting my day. Cup of coffee, cutting a man's ass open. Cup of Let's coffee, go. kiss my wife on the lips before I left. I said, baby, I'm going to fuck the shit out of you when I get home later. And then I immediately walked in and had to wipe blood and yeah. pus off of a man's butthole and balls. They say there's things you'll never forget, and I. And he kept apologizing. I I did that too while I was in my recent hospital stint. I just kept apologizing for everything. Yeah. Like I'm just like I'm. And everyone. I kept like, wanting no. to do it, but yeah, no, you know that that's okay. going to be the response. But I just said it once because he had apologized so much for touching me, which right. was his job. Even though the, I didn't. The, think the best it would was when balls the and, team of women oh. had to hoist me and onto the X-ray equipment, and then because nothing you. feels better than that when you're like, God, I am so sorry, and just that genuine. Oh, okay yeah. you're so yeah. nice i don't know but yeah so i'm like yes team full of women and i that i'm in my underwear and a gown in front of compliment me. at least you got underwear man i was in my underwear for the whole hospital visit basically at least you had underwear yeah i know and yeah so Count then your blessings while you have them you know we're done he wipes me up everywhere packs you he packs me yeah which is one of the weirdest parts like when i look at it later i had to look at it so much and it makes me i don't get very queasy but mm-hmm. that makes me feel so weird because there's just something in you that's yeah, hanging I, out like I a little tail. I hate that idea. Like the idea of that makes me like Yeah, little... and I'm like sitting on it and that's what it was hurting afterwards. Because mm-hmm. I will say the first time was like heaven. Like it's one of – it's for sure like top three worst pains of my life both But times. like top relief But too. that first one was like more than orgasmic. Like I wouldn't go through it to get that relief. But oh my God, what like, it happened. I felt, about, I felt about hot blood pour all over my numb ass and I felt like I was in heaven. <laughs> like it felt so much better than that sentence. Stick a fork like in me, I'm be. done. <laughs> yeah, it was – and this time it wasn't bad, and I don't know if I was, like, chasing that dragon, and I'll never get at that again. Felt hot blood pour over my ass. Numb ass. It, over my numb ass, and it felt like heaven. Yeah, because that, like I said, that feels interesting, but it's just so, there's so much pressure and tension and pain, and it's mm. just, like, gone. And then it sucks when the pain comes back. But, yeah, then I stood up, and he was, like, uh, you could try to clean yourself up if you want, but I think it might be best, like, just to go home and shower. Like, right, just really. Yeah. And so I stand, he leaves, I stand up, I take the gown off. You got the picture of the gown in the bed, the blood, right? Did yeah. You? Yeah. So I Snapchat that to you. I, and I, I just want, I woke up to that because like I, I, my routine recently has been pass out, don't charge my phone, wake up to a billion notifications. And then I check them while I'm asleep, like by importance, you know, cause I've got like all the app ones I forget to mute all the time and I just clear mm-hmm. those. And then I'm like, oh, okay, let's see what's happening here. And then, like, I opened that. And I was like, oh, my God, this is yeah. not the way to wake up. Yeah, I knew it was going to be jarring. Um, you were the only one who responded, which was <laughs> wonderful. Um, Sorry, I am genuinely care. No, I mean, like, I like how other people are like, hmm, <laughs> bloody uh, hospital gown. Everyone's like, oh, I'm just going to rock and roll with this for the rest of the day. And uh, so, yeah, I stand up. I take the gown off. I look down. And my sad dick and balls. And then there's just blood, like, on both sides. Like, just all this blood. And there's blood on my balls really heavy. And, yeah, I just looked down and I was like, fuck, dude, this is crazy. And then I wipe it off. With your underwear and then you put the underwear on. Yeah. No, then I I put my underwear on. Get pulled over. What does that smell? The door flies open right after I pull my underwear up. And it's, like, the first guy coming in with all this gauze. And he's like, oh, I'm so sorry. And I was like, just a couple seconds earlier, and I was standing, that guy would open the door to me standing there, very sad, dick and balls, Bloody. covered in blood, all over the place, pussy blood. And I feel like that would have ruined that guy's that life. That would have ruined more that than guy. The yeah, other more guy. than his day, his life. Yeah, because the first guy knew what he was getting into, at least a little bit. This man just opened a door, and I'm like, <sighs> look like I fucked a, a person made of blood. I know, blood. that's what I was always... And wor- I know people are made of blood. And I know I mean, people like, really are made of blood, blood, but it's still really disturbing. And then, yeah, I... Now I'm on antibiotics. I uh, the packing fell out the other night. The one, I think it was the morning after, 
I got it cut open. I woke up and I had gauze and the gauze was like completely soaked in blood. And then it was like kind of stuck to the packing. It had dried. I pulled it off and then I could see like blood just trickling out of my ass. And then it just started like I was just bleeding all over my bathroom floor. It was like I was peeing blood out of my butt. I had to waddle over to the tub. (laughs) You keep saying sentences. (laughs) Imagine living them. I know. I'm just. I'm so. Like I'm. Like I'm. I'm in kind of dire straits right now. You know, like we medically, like we're both in pretty dire straits. But like, I there's like at times like I'm like okay we yeah. It's, I'm like yeah. It's a we gotta move these MTVs. Ill that is. And da, 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 da. Okay. Nope. That's how we started it. <laughs> gotta end. Oh yeah, because then I'm definitely gonna get into it. Yep. Uh, but like, I you know, it's a broken pelvis, and I'm like, damn, this really is like a serious fucking thing that's like going on. You know, like I'll, you I'll be, realize. well, like I'll be like in pain, like I'm like <laughs> laying there in pain, and I'm like, God, this is like a serious fucking thing. Yeah, it's almost as bad as me. I'll say, but I'm not bleeding. I'm not pee bleeding out of my butt onto yeah. my bathroom floor and different, like different things. Pulling up my underwear in the nick of time before some man comes in and sees my sad bloody dick and balls. Like Jesus. Yeah, and these are things like this is just your life. Like when you got a shattered pelvis, I even like told you like I don't even know like what that entails. Like that's crazy. But no one ever hears about like maybe something will grow on your ass that people will have to cut open. Yeah, no one ever talks about that. You're like holy shit. When you're in health class even... growing up for that six weeks out of the year no one ever talks about what if you have some you what if you have like a weird thing that grows on your ass that a doctor has to drain every couple of years yeah a peleodonal cyst i think peleodonal tail is what i hear but same same difference it's because your body's trying to grow a tail but you won't let it i take the tail over this pain this constant so would you rather have this every two years for the rest of your life or a little vestigial tail a little tail for sure no (laughs) questions asked Fuck this. This you, sucks so can bad. Can you wiggle it? Do I have to? <laughs> I would like it if you would for bets at bars. Yeah. Be like, hey, my buddy's got I a baby. I think ba- we can be win like, hey, the my bet by having got a, the tail. I hey, my buddy's got a baby wiggling. wiener on the back of his butt and he can wiggle it. Check it out. You can see it through his pants. And then I, I show him and it's actually just my bloody ass. <laughs> I'm like, got you. I won the bet. Got you. You won the money, money, but I won the game. You won the money, but I'm... I, I, you won my money, but you're never going to be able to close your eyes without seeing this again. <laughs> you're just never going to be able to close your eyes again. Yeah, because Good your luck, eyelids bitch. are gone. And then you look and she just has no eyes. <laughs> trying to look up. Up, I guess. Just scream. Yeah, because how do you trying look and see? Yeah, trying to close your eyes, but just feeling like resistance. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> yeah everyone's like, she's excited, and you're like, no, I don't have eyelids no, anymore. My eyes are so dry. <laughs> but yeah, then I I went back yesterday for a follow up. I had a doctor who seemed like she would have been much better. Isn't that the worst? Yeah. It also was crazy to me because yeah, she looks at it. I told her the packing had fallen out the night before. And she looks at it. She says it looks very good. Uh, recommends I I do Epsom salt baths and like a warm compress. Typical every old man shit. Yeah, just regular stuff to keep it going. Continue on the antibiotics, blah, blah, blah. Nothing crazy. Um, but it's also always odd to me. Like, that's why I hate immediate cares. And I do get the idea of having like one doctor. Because I'm mm-hmm. like, you didn't know what it looked like. You know what I mean? Because it doesn't right, really like look weren't... that much different. And it does. The but like you weren't thing, there when it. You weren't there, man. You weren't, you weren't there when the it was gym. getting drained. Yeah, and you don't know the frame of reference. I honestly want to take a picture if it ever happens again, which I hope to God it doesn't. Yeah. But like, I feel like it would be surprising to people, and I'm not saying I would just show everybody, but it doesn't look that bad. At right. its worst, like, I don't even know if you would realize it could be that Like, it, It's one it's of those things like that little, feels so much worse than yeah, it Yeah, it looks. doesn't look gross at all. It's just like a little, and it's clearly like inflamed and red. But it's not like a fucking, I read one about a guy when I was looking at the drawing style thing. He said he had a golf ball sized boil on his inner thigh, his right inner thigh, and that he, this was like a couple years ago, and his birthday is like the day before St. Patrick's Day, and it was a weekend, and they wanted to do a bar crawl, and he was super excited about it, but he had this shit going on, and it was like three days from then is when the bar crawl was, and he could was like not able to walk anymore because it was just rubbed, this right, golf it was ball just so painful, fucker on his leg. And so he puts this shit on it, and the next day he said it doubled in size on his leg, and he couldn't even move. And it was just this fucking, like, what would that be? Like, that big at least? Yeah, because a golf ball is like that. Yeah. So, like, 
Yeah, just a fucking like a what is that like a, like ski a baseball ball, a ski ball? Yeah, same difference. <laughs> I, yeah, it probably looked like a ski ball. And then after that, he said like twelve hours after that, it it ruptured, and he said it was. What do you mean like, it ruptured? That's like what they say. That's what I was trying to get to happen. It just like pops essentially explodes yeah, just like a zip but pops if it's on its own if it's a, a baseball size thing and it that's full of stuff i that's feel like a that is like, that's go, like that is like go to the doctor i feel like i feel like i would just take a hot butter knife and cut it from the bottom oh uh, just maybe like a hot needle to start with but they say that's one of the worst things you can do is it really why yeah it just doesn't it's supposed to you're not supposed to like pop it until it like gets to a certain point and a lot of times they say, like, it should be medical grade, whatever. Right. Because I always want to do that. Well, they, they always say it should be medical right. grade. Right. But there's something something with, like, the way that it's – if you pop it, you're supposed to cut it. That's why they lance it, mm-hmm. pop it. I don't know. But I've gotten to the point where I'm like, I'll go buy an X-Acto knife and, like, burn it over the stove. And right, give it yeah. Because I feel like I could do it. Uh, I, I could for sure yeah. do it, and I would just be keeping it clean. I don't know if I could pack it. I don't think I could pack myself. I think yeah, I could deal wild. with a lot of stuff, but that seems so – fucking crazy at least it didn't fall out during a valesa at this time that's way better though (laughs) fell out but wasn't it not in your pants afterwards (laughs) yes we lost it (laughs) which means it fell out that doesn't matter to me like a little shit (laughs) (laughs) like a little shit that fell out of your pants that's covered in blood yeah some guy which means some guy was sweeping up after the show and like had to sweep up your bloody ass i like to think it got stuck to someone's shoe and then it was like a movie where it travels all these different places and and eventually it blows back into your yard trying to like blows back into my ass (laughs) (laughs) that's what it's trying to do it's trying oh. to get back. Oh, it's trying to get back. Sees the new packing in your ass. Starts oh. crying. It's so tragic. Well, no. last last time it got packed, and they went two days later for the follow up, and had to get repacked. This time there was no repacking. Thank which is God. Great. Well, at least there's one upside to this story. Yeah, there's no repacking, and because the packing, like if you ever feel it, because they just give it to you too. Right, like it's just thing. like because they're gauze, like we can't. It? Once you open, it's not that squ- it's pretty. Like the edges are rough, and that's what I think I feel just in me, and it's fucking. It makes me feel so weird. But they give you the shit too, because once they open it, they can't ever use it again on anyone else. So they right. like always give it to you. They didn't this time, but the guy told me that, and I was like, yeah, I know. And then he's like, I'm not going to give it to you. Because it's crazy. Like, how am I going to pack myself right, like in, that's in just, my ass? Ugh, that's just such I a mean, weird... I pe- mean, a lot of people have made wild assumptions that I love to pack things in my ass, but yeah. it's not always true. I know. I'm sitting here. I'm like, I don't know if I could shove something inside <laughs> me. Meanwhile, millions of women all over the world <laughs> are forced to do it. Yeah. Not, uh, not forced, but it's uh, expected. The way you... It's implied. Uh, we'll edit it out. We'll I mean, I was thinking cut more like thing. just women using cut dildos. like, but Do they? Ew. From what I've seen on the fake internet penises? recently, yeah, big old fake ones. One's bigger than mine. Why? Yeah, that's pretty simple, right? <laughs> Very simple. It's yeah. pretty run of the mill. Right? Yeah, you could pretty much hold up a roll of quarters, and it's bigger than mine. I mean, we'd love to see it if possible. Five yeah. episodes left. Yeah, but the uh, oh yeah, the other point. So nervous, dick, while I'm getting slashed in the back. Great dick the whole week of. In pain. I was rocking a dick that I wish I could frame. I was rocking a dick earlier this week that I wish, like, I, I, I almost started an OnlyFans. I was rocking such I know, a good we dick. Done, I, I hate that we were talking about this before we started. Listeners, you can obviously tell. We have become so conjoined somehow that Slim has a pretty severe, I guess, medical incident. And I have a also not as severe, I wouldn't say, but pretty fucking... And they're both in private parts. Like, your dick exploded or whatever happened. Yeah. And my ass had to get cut My open. dick exploded because I was jerking off so much. Yeah. You, you three-dog knighted it. And... Except now they have to call it the had, fast finger slim in it because it was so much worse than the three-dog yeah, knight I, thing. That's what I heard. And, uh, it killed that guy. Yeah. From here. Three-dog knight? More and like a slim dog a, knight, if you know what I mean. Ugh. Means long, um, skinny hot dogs that nobody likes, and then we like, both had mostly bread. Then we both had good, good hogs. Apparently, yeah, I had such a good. I like because I I had woken up and like just went to go take a shower, and you know you get naked and you, you look at what? Your... <laughs> not at my house. Turns out we are not so conjoined. Yeah, we're conjoined on the weird shit, but the things that you're like everybody does this. We're like no, my family was a clothes on shower. Family. Clothes on shower. You wash the clothes at the same time as. The body, and then everything is all clean at once. Yeah, I have to take so many showers because I have 
Six pairs of jeans. That's a joke. I've never had six pairs of jeans. Six I usually have one. I was going to say six pairs of jeans, Mr. Millionaire. <laughs> I know. It's crazy. It's a crazy thought. Oh, look at me. I've got six pairs of jeans. I technically have two right now, and mm-hmm. I think that's the first time in probably seven years that I've had two pairs of jeans Yeah, I think I th- Yeah, I think I've got two or I'm three, but they're of varying sizes from throughout the years. I need to like go through and donate the ones that don't fit anymore, yeah. you know? Uh, but yeah, with good hogs. Yeah, and I that's w- what I mean. I was in like that was prime pain. Well, I mean like Wednesday night was yeah. like the worst pain, and then I'm in the mirror, but then I'm also hunched over, so the belly's on fleek because mm-hmm. I like can't walk straight up anymore. Oh yeah, and I'm like, look at this fucking dick, I'm dude. Like, look at this fucking belly and dick combination. This is yeah, a they're nightmare. touching. This is awful. They're touching because I'm so hard. But I like went to go take a shower and I got naked and looked at myself. It's traditionally it was like this fucking sucks, but then like <laughs> looked at the dick and I was like, wow. What are you? Th- yeah, okay. it was hanging. I was I like, know. okay, decent for once. And I was irritated because I'm like, there's no way. Like, I feel like we've touched on this before, mm-hmm. but those times in your life when you're like the most wonderful looking human being could come up and be like, I will suck your dick better than anyone else right now, and uh-huh. you would have to be like, I, I can't. I can't, I can't because it is. I'm in so much pain. <sighs> yeah. And I might risk it, but I don't even know if it there will work. There was some beautiful good. nurses that were checking on me when they I was have in to the hospital. Be. They were <laughs> just big <laughs> bosoms, big lips, and big butts. Fake glasses. Big, fake glasses. Big, fake glasses. Big, fake glasses. Oh. I don't know why, but that's how it is. Gotta have fake glasses. Yeah. Real skimpy fucking and I'm sitting there and I'm sitting there my bending fucking over getting a stethoscope. Why is it on the floor? Why the fuck are all the <laughs> medical supplies on the floor? And you're, what the and you're like, oh, I got up and sense. tried to go to the bathroom and knocked him over, I guess. <laughs> I guess. Oops. You don't remember <laughs> spilling all this no. medical equipment? No, I'm on fucking Dilaudid. There's no every four oh, hours. Oh, 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 there's oh, no oh, way <laughs> I remember spilling this medical equipment. <laughs> The What's all this medical like, equipment? Whoa, the doctor's like, the whoa. The doctor's like one for you and one for me. And then just like shoots them both at the same time. We're both just all. Oh. It's like, what the fuck am I supposed to be what doing? What the fuck am I doing here? You're just sitting this there. Is how I want there to be. She's rocking back and forth. She's like, I never wanted to be a mother. And you're like, this isn't my fucking I problem. I didn't know you were. I didn't know you were. I'm not. It sounds like you have a lot of personal (laughs) problems. Why are you talking like that? Too much (laughs) Dilaudid and Zoloft. I can't get an erection and I'm very sad. What the hell were we talking about? I have absolutely nice no dicks. fucking idea. Yeah, just having a good dick day. For once, for once on the show, we're talking about having good dick days. We can't even really think of it. No. Oh, yeah. It's one of the times you can't get your dick sucked. Or taking the little things for granted. I wasn't able to shit for about four days. Yeah, not taking a shit for five um, days for me was... It's astral. horrible. It's yeah. awful. Or like, I can't Because still... then you go to shit, your body is somehow forgotten what it's like to shit. Yeah, it just feels weird. My farts were not stinky this time around. Mine were... I knew I couldn't call you if they were. <laughs> not like I'm going to... Because you you have some weird fetish where you think you should just fart and I should leap on it. Like like I should just follow your like fart. Like it's a grenade like, in war. Like I should just follow your fart with like wimpy with a hamburger apparently and just be drawn no, to it. I, I, I don't will gladly you to pay you Tuesday this. for a fart I could sniff today. <laughs> I don't want you to enjoy it's, them. But it sounds like I you want, want me to, to smell, smell it. them. Yeah. Because you've been around me when I farted before. Have you ever smelled a fart I've never. Me? I, and I will swear so on. That's I, what I'm I, saying. I will get affidavited in please, court. And I will please have, I'll be subpoenaed. Notarized. I get, notar- I get a notary I'm gonna to subpoena subpoena you to subpoena smell me. my fucking fart, you piece of shit. <laughs> I get subpoenaed in court. The judge is like, just sniff his fucking fart. <laughs> because that's the only reason. Uh, yeah, I hear Sniff his fart in 60 days or go to prison for life. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> me and my lawyer. I'm like, this guy doesn't him. even fart every 60 days. <laughs> I fart every day. No one's- I love how people are always like, you don't fart. It's like you fucking live right next, like with me, sitting next to me all day. <laughs> Like you don't fart in this small time frame we're together. Of course not. I'm a respectful person. But the reason this came up, and I feel like people think it's crazy. You what? Is because it's everybody does it. Let's just move on. It's because you. I've smelled your farts. They're stinky. You've smelled my farts. There's no stench. So when I can make a stinky fart, I would like 
your opinion on what you think in that contract. I know. This it's is just, scientific. It, it, it's just, not a fetish. We have I'm just not enjoying a, we it. We have just, you're getting very defensive for someone who claims that it's not a fetish. I'm just, just trying to clear it up out. because there's nothing to clear up. If you're, if you're, if you're not guilty, then what do you no, have to get defensive about? We just said when this originally came up, you were just making it sound like I was like, smell my farts. <laughs> yeah, and you I mean, said no when I was crazy for being like, I can't believe you won't smell my farts. I mean, you and I, I clearly remember this very differently because I remember we were in that car. That the man cave truck <laughs> <laughs> we're in my car i met over there we were driving we we're about to turn big streets yep. we were on big, big streets we're on large streets we're on the big streets part. and i said would you smell my farts if this happened if i had to hold my shit again and you were like absolutely not and you didn't even give me the ability to explain this <laughs> you just i just started attacking you immediately yeah it was like you're a filthy pervert and i don't know why i listen to you yeah i don't want you to enjoy it i want you to understand and, and help. what am i understanding why are my farts stinkier if i hold in the shit is it the shit yeah but i need I, did you need a doctor to tell you that no i need you to smell it for juxtaposition like i said there's no smell I want you to smell my stinky fart. <laughs> yeah, I feel like we're just talking in circles. It makes so much goddamn sense. I mean, it makes sense. It's just I feel like if you're – but if you're not going to fart around me because it, you're a respectful person, then in what universe am I going to smell I will your stinky when they, fart? I will when but they're you stinky. don't live they're close enough stinky. to me. You don't live close enough to me. So I would w, make a trip. So you're telling me that you're just going to start having stinky farts. You're going to make a drive all the way out here just to sit in my company until you unleash one that I smell? Yes. If you were willing to do it, I would make time. This works both ways. Okay. That's fair. I'm glad to know you have this type of commitment towards our friendship. Yeah, I towards science. <laughs> it's I a commitment it's, towards the farts. It's not a commitment towards anything else. Yeah, I just you I, just want me to smell your fart. It's not that simple. I wish it was. I really do. I wish it was so simple. It's just. I it's, wish it was so simple that I could just smell your fart, but it's never that simple. Yeah, and now I'm upset that I shit yesterday and today because I was so close to being able to come here, and I would think within the, the two plus hours I could have made something happen but uh, when yeah. i was holding on to this shit and i like knew i still couldn't i had one where i was like i think it's gonna happen and i don't know what happens if, if happens. i mean if we're gonna talk about farts i was letting loose some before you got here and i was really worried i was gonna have to take another shit before you got here because i i ate so much food yesterday that i feel like i should have taken a bigger shit this morning you know i understand that. you ever have that happen where like a lot where yeah. like at the end of the day you're just kind of like oh like you Get just feel- mic <laughs> you're just now talking to me <laughs> Oh, okay. There we go. <laughs> yeah, I was like, this seems like it's just getting quieter and quieter. People, Sorry. People just listen to the audio are like, I think he's backing out of the room. Slowly. I got so comfortable with your fart dog that I forgot that yeah, there was no, a microphone. Like, hey, I'm like, hey, man. Hey, man. You want to talk I'll about some I'll put mine down. You swing yours hey, away. Man, you this is just a conversation. Microphone? You want to talk about some farts cl- in proximity to the microphone? No fart. Wow, the there we go. There's some spikes that we didn't have before because yeah, I was don't so get far crazy, away. Yeah, no need to get up close and crazy, but we need to get a little bit closer in here. Shh, quiet talk time. It's okay. But yes, I've had the the uh, I ate so much food and there's not enough shit. Where's the food at? Yeah, because there's, there's no way my body got that much nutrients out of what I was eating. It had to. It has yeah. to expel some of this. You know. Yeah, that's how I feel with like all, everything. I feel like I never get enough out of my body after what i put in that's because you need more fiber people say this to me and i don't think it's true I and think then you, people say too much fiber i think you should try fiber one bars why because i from what i've read if you have issues where you feel like you're not shitting enough fiber one bars are the trick to do it because this i've guy, never said i don't think i'm shitting enough i mean i'm shitting regularly and there's enough like i think there's a decent amount of shit coming up okay. but i mean i'll do a like a sunday I'm just, you know what I mean? I'm smashing breakfast. I'm eating snacks. I'm making dips. Like on a big ass. I dinner. know. I have so many I cooking. Like I have so many cooking plans after you after you leave today. That's I have what so much. Sundays shit. are for bro. I'm gonna make just eating, watching some stupid shit, and then hitting a point where you're filled with existential dread because uh-huh. it's just Sunday and you're like, because, oh fuck. Because Sunday hits around like between I'm gonna say I'm gonna say it between five and seven p.m. That existential dread really starts yeah, setting just in. Like, 
You're just like, what the fuck? I didn't do enough with my weekend. You're like, life is a spiraling hell, and I'm filled with so much shit that I... <laughs> what do you mean this is the last episode of Love After Lockup? You can't just drop it's the season finale on the episode. I've watched 22 episodes of Kitchen Nightmares today. <laughs> what do you mean I've already rewatched all of this show again i have been watching watching. i've been watching so much kitchen nightmares that is like my trash binge right now it is so fucking is that the one where gordon ramsay yells at people that's the one where he goes to people's restaurants and the restaurants are i mean like yeah yeah yeah, the restaurants are so bad yeah gordon ramsay yells at people you mean his entire yeah i was gonna say what (laughs) yeah i was that's the one i was thinking of and what i meant to say but yeah then i realized I watched one. I watched one. I, if I can implore you to watch an episode, a single I've, episode I've of the show. I watched that show before, and I like it. I just never think about it really. If there's, but there's one episode I need you to watch. Like yeah, I need you to watch need, this episode. I need TV shows this, to watch. The, watch this because the people on these shows, some of these chefs are so batshit insane. This one guy was running a restaurant where his menu concept was so complicated that nobody could explain it. Except for him. Nice. And it was like, and the concept was like, there's 20 different sauce combinations you can choose from. And then you choose your protein. And then your protein can be applied to any of these dishes. But then these dishes can be broken down into this, depending on the time <laughs> of day. And then depending on the sides that you get with it. And like, you can just see people getting frustrated. And even the waitresses are like, yeah, we don't know how to like explain yeah, I would, this. I would lose my mind. I've been to places like that where it's like, make your own thing. And you're like, no, I just want the thing. I just want like a burger. They're like, make your own. Yeah, make your own burger. And you're like, well, you got to pick your bun and your cheese and your protein. Just and give your me toppings. a burger. Just a burger. Like, just you know a, what I mean? You know just what I burger. say when I say a cheeseburger. cheeseburger. Just give me a cheeseburger. They're like, you want onion shells on it? And you're like, you want, like we're, you, I feel do like you want we're crispy jalapeno coins on it? And it's like, no. Does that, is that no. what you think comes normally on yeah, a burger? Is that where if I go to the McDonald's drive? Is that a standard burger topping for you? Yeah. They're like, you don't want caramelized but no the the episode i need you to watch is called amy's baking company okay is she hot in a in the i I, the hesitation makes me so excited i I love when people because you'll can i pull up a picture of her for you no let me just watch it i'll get into it but i love when because you'll be like is this person hot and everyone's either like nope or yes and then when people have to really think about it you're like this is gonna be a good like an interesting looking person because you can tell you're like she is but she has the craziest eyes I've ever seen on a woman oh, in my I life. Oh, I love that. No, I mean, like, she's like, well, see, I don't really think there's a problem with the food because it was just fine when I took it out of the oven. <laughs> I love that. That's my type of woman. Real powerful in the eyes. Real scary bitch. Like, th- th- I it's, love a spooky bitch. I, I don't want to spoil anything about then this episode. Up. I'm just, it's it's the very last episode of season five. You're gonna have to text it to me. Yeah, I, I will. But I'm just saying, like, if you remember, what are you watching this on? Hulu. Oh, nice. I've been binging it on Hulu. I'm just going. I watched to... Supermarket Sweep. Yeah. The original, uh-huh. and then the new one. I don't like the lady that hosts the new one. She's too eccentric. I had forgotten as a kid. I wanted nothing more in my life to be than on to achieve Supermarket the Sweep. status where I could be on Supermarket Sweep, and like, I still want to do it. And the fact that it's back. Makes like, me I like, think you could do it. I, I think do you could do it really well. Shit out of any. I got I all the questions because they do like a question thing, um, so you can build up more time. Mm-hmm. I got every fucking question right for one whole episode, like the whole round, because it'll be like slogan type shit or like you know what I mean. It's a fucking. Game oh no, show you're gonna be one of these guys that trains to go on a game show. I I feel like I'm already on top of it. I was literally just saying them out loud, and then boom, everyone. And I was like, "Fuck, dude!" I'd have like three minutes, and then I'm just because people. I don't know, man. I feel like I feel like it's really easy. Just get the most expensive shit, right? Like I just forget about. Like, like, I'm not even kidding you, bro. Send me in there. I'm going straight to the spice section. I'm gonna be spice getting, is big. Yeah, spice forget about spice. Is, spices is huge. Like bag nuts is huge. Beef jerky is huge. Yeah. Like cleaning products. Cle- oh, people man. forget cleaning about cleaning products. products. And yeah, otherwise, like meat, meat's like the go-to. Yeah, meat's everyone's go-to, but meat takes up so much space. It can, but you can get like better, like some prime rib, right? Some nice steaks. People but get I'm like saying, turkeys, like, and but, you're like, turkeys are expensive, but yeah, they're big. And but I'm saying, like, if you go to the spices, you know, go get, go get, like, you know, they got six saffron threads and stock. Yeah. Saffron threads are like what thirty you bucks need a something bottle. Something that you can just. I think you can get six, four or six of one item. Because okay. as a kid, I was always like, I would just put simply put my arm out and run down the aisle and put <laughs> right, everything yeah. into my cart, and I'll forever win this. And then you realize eventually there's like little rules, but I don't know. Yeah. And then there's I saw these two stupid bitches win 
fucking whatever the prize is. What is what is it? It's it's gonna sound crazy, but I think it's either ten thousand dollars or a million dollars. <laughs> Once again, we have had some insane <laughs> margins on this episode. I don't know. I know it's too, it could be two things. That's my whole life. I feel like between it's three, like, it's what was it thirty and five hundred dollars a minute, and now we're between ten thousand and a million dollars. Yeah, it's either not that big of a deal or kind of the biggest deal ever. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like it's a huge deal. But or let's say in the middle, hundred thousand. Fair enough. Fair. You could give me a hundred thousand. You not could give me six hundred bucks. I would pay you to run the course. I'm not even in it for the money. I just want to do it. Find you know a supermarket I mean? that shuts down at night now because of our tier three status, and then uh, I'll just go ahead and I'll run around at night. One. But then you got, but then you got to restock everything. No, I don't. <laughs> no, I don't. I'm That's for the sleep. people in the morning. Give them something to do. I don't work here. I'm helping create jobs. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a genius. Stupid boomer. But yeah, I feel like if I had to pick one game show do you have a game show you've always wanted to be on uh you pick one because i feel like mine is supermarket sweep i forgot about it and i've always wanted to do like what was that hidden temple game show when we were kids yeah i was gonna Legends say hidden temple hidden is temple. one that comes to mind to for me the shit out of that i always thought um as much as i know i couldn't do it the american ninja warrior oh, yeah. always wanna, looked like fun i want to be able to pick a couple things because there's things i will watch and i'm like oh i can't do that you know right what I mean? but like, like if i, I but like if you let me and my boys get like drunk and just like run around there and yeah. like have fun like run and jump and crawl across that thing i yeah. think i can do that yeah like just let me try a couple of things yeah you know? i want to time me let me take my yeah, time don't make me feel bad you don't don't like pressure me, me. i'm trying to like, yeah me and the boys paid to have a good time yeah. not to get like pushed around i would for sure also do that i love the people that make their own versions in like their backyard what game show did you want to be on america's biggest loser is that a game show? What no. <laughs> That's the one where they made the fat people exercise on TV and like see who could lose the most weight. I'm aware of the premise. Then, I think everyone and is. Then it's win. in the title, kind of. Yeah, it is. I remember my sister loved that show. I always just felt weird. It's one of those where you're Yeah, it's like, one of those... Uh, I know it's good for the people. The people sign up, whatever, whatever. I remember we always just it's had... My thing. We just always had like Fox on at night in my house growing up. So we would just always yeah, watch I, like... I agree. We had Fox and NBC. Those were the two we switched back and forth between two. I don't ever remember. I just remember Fox. Yeah, I remember. I know we Fox watched other lot. ones, but I never remember like Fox what was, was on Fox was NBC the and stay. what was on CBS. Oh, and what I was could on I could tell you right TNT now. Throw, and what was throw on the shows at Spike me. TV. The You're best watching Spike TV. TV. Ever. <clears throat> Spike TV. Let's uh, fuck some boobs. I think was their tagline. I loved Spike TV. I love Thousand Spike ways TV. To die. It makes you feel like you're fucking boobs. <laughs> I would love to fuck some boobs, but, mm. but it doesn't come up anymore. I would just love some boobs. On you? No, I'd just love you? to touch some. Would you like your balls to take some boobs? I would like my balls to take a vagina. I think we all would, but what if it's only boobs? I mean, I'll no take, vagina, just boobs. I'll take what I can get, if I can be honest with you, at this point in the game. This my is getting my pelvis bones. is ready for some Elvis motion. You think so? No. Okay, I was going to say, it doesn't, I wouldn't think so, but I'm not the owner. <laughs> I mean, I feel like if I was like, if I stood at like the right angle and was gentle about it, maybe. That sounds nice. That was, could somebody right? does, 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 any, gently fuck somebody? I would say, if I, I don't want to come, I don't want to come back out of the gate with this Can thing like all angry. Me, somebody, somebody to fuck me, somebody to fuck, find 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 me.